Welcome to Turtaganga Water Palace, one of Bali's most enchanting spots. Known for its tranquil pools, stunning fountains, and royal gardens, Turtaganga is a must-visit destination for every traveler exploring Bali. Located in the lush eastern region of the island, this water palace was once a royal retreat and now offers visitors a serene escape into Balinese history and culture. From the iconic stepping stones over koi-filled ponds to the towering fountains surrounded by intricate stone carvings, every corner of Turtaganga is a blend of natural beauty and artistic design. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know before your visit. From the location, how to get here, entry fees, must-see sites, the best times to visit, nearby attractions, and essential travel tips. Whether you're planning a full day of exploring or just a quick stop, we've got you covered. Turtaganga Water Palace is located in the eastern part of Bali in the Karangasem Regency. It's about 75 kilometers from Denpasar and the drive takes around two to three hours, depending on traffic. The location is accessible by car, scooter, or even organized tours. For those traveling independently, it's a scenic drive that lets you explore the lush landscapes of East Bali along the way. Getting to Turtaganga is relatively easy. If you're renting a scooter or car, just head east from Denpasar. The roads are well marked and the drive offers beautiful views of Bali's lush landscapes. Alternatively, if you prefer a hassle-free experience, a guided tour is a great option. We've listed reputable local tour operators below and you can find the links in the description of this video for easy booking. The entry fee for Turta Ganga Water Palace is 70,000 Indonesian rupiahs per person for international visitors. This fee grants access to the beautiful gardens, fountains, and pools of the Water Palace. If you arrive by your own vehicle, parking is available for 10,000 Indonesian rupiahs for cars. These fees ensure secure parking while you explore the Water Palace. Please note that all payments must be made in cash, as card payment options may not be available. The best time to visit Turta Ganga Water Palace is early in the morning, around 8 to 9 a.m., when the weather is cooler and the crowds are fewer. This is also the perfect time for photography, as the soft morning light creates a beautiful atmosphere over the pools and gardens. If you prefer to avoid the busiest times, weekdays are ideal. The palace can get crowded on weekends, especially during peak tourist seasons, so visiting on a quieter day will allow you to enjoy the peaceful surroundings. Turta Ganga Water Palace is a photographer's dream and a place where you can truly unwind. The main attraction here is the beautiful pools, where you can walk across stepping stones and feed the koi fish swimming below. The water is so clear, you can see the fish gliding effortlessly beneath the surface.
While you're in the area, there are several other must-see attractions near Turtaganga Water Palace that you won't want to miss. Lempyong Temple, known for its stunning gateway to heaven, this temple offers breathtaking views of Mount Agung and is one of Bali's most iconic spots. Just a short drive from Turtaganga, Taman Yujing is another beautiful water palace with stunning pools, gardens, and views of Mount Agung. It's a peaceful place to relax and take in the surroundings. For incredible panoramic views, head to Lahungan Suite, it offers one of the best spots to capture breathtaking photos of Mount Agung, the surrounding valleys, and the lush countryside. These nearby attractions are all easily accessible from Turta Ganga and make for the perfect addition to your East Bali itinerary. To make the most of your visit to Turta Ganga Water Palace, here are a few helpful tips. Bring cash, as mentioned, the entrance fee and parking are cash only, so be sure to have enough local currency with you. Respect the local culture as a sacred site, be mindful of local customs. Dress modestly and be respectful when taking photos, particularly around religious areas. Visit early or late to avoid the crowds and enjoy a more peaceful experience. Try to visit early in the morning or later in the afternoon. With these tips, you'll be set to enjoy a smooth and memorable visit to Turtaganga. And that's our travel guide to Turtaganga Water Palace. This enchanting spot is perfect for immersing yourself in Bali's serene beauty, history, and culture. Whether you're marveling at the fountains, walking across the stepping stones, or simply soaking up the peaceful atmosphere, Turta Ganga offers an unforgettable experience. If you have any questions or need more tips, leave a comment below. We're locals from Bali and are here to help make your visit amazing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel guides and tips. See you in the next video.